Are you, Sean Spencer, psychic? Psych is an amazing show, and one of the most fascinating and unsolved mysteries is Karen, or Chief Vic. Chief Karen. Chief Karen Vic? That just feels a little long, doesn't it? The question is, does Chief Vic know that Sean isn't psychic? In this video, we're going to find out. I want you to trust me, Sean, because we have a connection. What is it about Spencer that people see that I don't? To start things off, we first have to understand Sean. Wait, the DET? I took that when I was 15. I got 100. Sorry, you, you said you got a perfect score? Yeah. And you were 15? Yeah. Why? What did you guys get? Sean is highly intelligent and is a walking genius. But instead of listening to my analysis, let's hear what a psychological profiler has to say. You're highly intelligent, but you're shameful of that fact, so you play it down for the use of inappropriate behavior. And you live in fear of showing weakness, so you hide behind a constant barrage of jokes and sarcasm. Notice you overly enunciate words at times, which I suspect is some kind of nervous reaction to confrontation or awkwardness. Not, <laughs> said the liar. I'm not sure those two go together. Said the liar cancels not out. I've heard it both ways. But there is something very special about Sean. And it's not Sean's intelligence, it's his father, Henry Spencer. See, sometimes, Sean, you don't have to dig so deep. All you gotta do is turn something upside down to make it right side up, and then you get your prize. Henry is a big part of Sean's life, from teaching him about relationships to being a detective and what it means to be a man. But their relationship wasn't always that great, though. Let's be honest, I gave up wanting to be like you a long time ago. But even though they have their share of troubles and disagreements, Henry manages to look out for Sean time and time again. So why is Henry important? And how does he connect to Chief Vic? You know what I'll do to you? Yes. Oh, you do. I'm a psychic. I'm just finishing up in here. I'll be with you in a moment. That's all right, Karen. I've got to get going anyway. Thank you very much for coming down. Yeah, okay. Been a big help. From the very first episode, the Chief knew Sean is a psychic. How? Because Henry told her. Son? Dad. You said you've had this ability your whole life. Well, I, whole life. I mean, it's a bit of a gray area. He said he didn't get it until you were 18. He said that? Mm -hmm. It is very subtle, but throughout the show, Chief Vic drops hints that she knows the truth about Sean. I said I'm busy, Mr. Spencer. I'm sensing something here. Don't do that. So was it something specific that brought things to a head? Yeah, nothing specific. It's just years of trying to outdo each other. So, should I go divine that piece of evidence I was referring to? I don't know. Should you? At this point, Sean figures it out, which is perfect. This is the theme of the show. I know you know that I'm not telling the truth. But why does the chief play along? Why would she listen to Henry and keep this a secret? It is important to remember that Henry was a huge star back in the day, solving over hundreds of cases which gave Henry a lot of credibility. We owe the success of this investigation, and indeed our very lives, to Sergeant Henry Spencer. You do not want to be a fireman. What? Why not? Because you want to be a cop. What do you think I've been teaching you all these years? But being a fireman is the coolest. Being a fireman is not cooler than being a cop. You want to arrest somebody, you do it the right way. You do it with a badge. Sean, do you really want to be a hero someday? Yes, sir. Become a cop. All Henry ever wanted was his son to follow in his footsteps, to be this amazing cop. When Sean made bad choices in life and got a criminal record, it ruined his chances of becoming a police officer. And you have a criminal record. I was 18. Oh, 18? Well, that makes it okay. Let me just scratch this out. 
This officially is your chance of being a cop. Let's be honest. I gave up wanting to be like you a long time ago. Henry convinced Chief Vic to allow Sean to work cases because it gave Sean a foot in the doorstep of the police world and a chance to prove himself. Although Sean was trying to avoid jail time in the first episode, that wasn't the problem. You can't keep me here, guys. I know my rights. Henry could easily vouch for Sean, especially since the chief held a lot of respect for a living legend, and the evidence to link Sean to all these crimes was implausible. No, not just... My heart's not in it anymore. Yeah, Henry, I think we should talk about this. There's no need to, Karen. It's time. When Henry says it's time, what he really means is that it's time for them to reveal to Sean about their plan. Henry can step down and Chief Vic can request a criminal waiver for Sean so that he can join the police academy. That was Henry and Chief Vic's plan all along. Henry gets to see his son follow in his footsteps and the Chief gets a talented cop in her department. Thanks for everything, Karen. What? Your old police hat? <laughs> you remember I used to put this thing on as a kid, run all over the house, bumping into stuff? Dreaming that one day I'd be this amazing cop, just like my old man. What do you say you and I go out and grab a beer a little later? Unfortunately, Henry never had that beer with Sean. It's not too late to do the right thing, Jerry. I'm sorry, Henry. If Henry never got shot and he made it to that bar that night, he would have revealed all his secrets to Sean. He would tell Sean about Chief Vic, say how proud of a father he is because of Sean's accomplishments, and encourage him to join the police academy. You're like the old guy in Up. Except your mother's still alive. It may be hard to believe why Henry never told Sean about everything he has been doing to protect him. But it is important to remember that Henry doesn't care about the applause or being recognized. Well, I'm not sure I want to forgive him for what happened. The divorce? It wasn't what happened, Mom. It was the way that it happened. I mean, let's call it what it was. He left us. He left you. He ended up with the house and he left you by yourself to pick up the pieces. Sean. I left him. If Henry is able to take the blame for the divorce so Sean wouldn't hate his mom, then it is not surprising for Henry to cover up and protect Sean in the police department. Because that's Henry, an incredible police officer, detective, life coach, and an amazing dad. If you are not psychic, then you are a really good cop. Like, maybe one of the best. Next to me. Sweetheart, I'm so sorry. I'm so... I'm so sorry. But I have never lied about the way I feel for you. Not ever. Thank you for watching this video and please comment below what you think of my theory. If you want to check out Psych, download Peacock and watch it for free with ads. If you really enjoyed this video then just follow me on Instagram to show some love. I don't know where Gus and I will be in 50 years, but uh, <laughs> maybe in space. Man never figures out how to travel that far. Man does travel in space. <laughs> He's a sweet kid. I think I'll keep him.
So, Burton, how long have you been a single man? How do you know I'm single? How much time do you have? 